Right, now, I'm going to tell you straight. Eternus is a deck that I'm looking to play come set launch, okay? And I'm going to spend bare money on bare Eternus just for some people to flip heads on Crushing Hammer and win the game from that. I'm not letting it happen. So let me show you the best way you can combat that in an Eternus deck. Let's go. So yeah, like I said in the intro, hammers are going to be super popular um, next format for sure. And um, it's something that like, I just don't want to really try and take the L2 as an Eternus player. Like I said, I'm going to be dropping bare money on this set already. I ain't getting no one let no flip no hammers and I lose the game. So and I do think Revolt is the best way to combat that. Also, let's use a couple of attacks that you might not be able to use and have some pretty good power spike turns. So let's have a look. We're still going to start off though with our big scary Eternus VMAX. VMAX Pokemon 340 HP with the Infinity Zone ability. Basically, you can have eight dark Pokemon on your bench, but they all have to be dark types, so you can't know what I mean. Absolutely ridiculous. And then um, the Dread End attack, which does 30 plus 30 for each dark type you've got in play. So as you can see, you fill your bench, get your 270. You know, with Zigzagoon pings, you can start hitting a bit higher. And then... Um, absolutely ridiculous such a good efficient attacker uh, and the way a lot of decks are trying to combat dread end as an attacker sort of similarly to how they would approach the dragapult matchup thinking right if they're stuck attaching one per turn let's see if they can hopefully miss one and i can knock one off um and i don't want that to happen <laughs> so then we go on to four of the eternus v uh, but it's not too bad at, at, in all fairness for an evolving V. Uh, basic Pokemon 220 HP with an attack power XL, 1 for 30. You can attach one dark from your hand. It's one of your bench Pokemon. So, yeah, one of your bench Pokemon. That's not bad. You know, like I said, we're trying to get around hammers, and this lets us get two energy down a turn. Not too bad, not too bad. And we've also got Dynamax Cannon. Now, this attack ain't very good. This is 4 for 120. And what is it? If your opponent's Pokemon is a V Max, that's it. You do another 120 so you can do four for 240 and i don't think any way you cut that um that's a good attack um in most eternus lists you'd never really be able to do that but it is actually worth noting because we are playing weaver provided we've got four energy in play anywhere we can always just attach these um you can just move them from anywhere and put them on so we could actually use dynamax cannon to finish off a potential ko so worth noting we can actually do that do this in this list for Crobat V, this is how we're going to keep ticking ourselves over, baby. You know, we, we don't even need to play supporters to draw cards. When you bench Crobat V, you can draw to have six cards in your hand, Knight Asset. And that's what keeps you to turn this deck ticking over. You've got such an in, inherent strong draw engine, you know, with a big, dirty attacker as well. What's not to like? <laughs> right, now we're going to get onto that Weavile uh, with a 2 2. Uh, worth knowing, we actually lose Sneaky Smash Sneasel which is uh, really good. But we still got the other Weavile GX. Um, stage one Pokemon, 200 HP GX. With the ability Shadow Transfer, it lets you move around dark energies um, on your board, the basic darks. So that means, you know, now we can start, you know, moving energies wherever from wherever to get attacking. Now, in and of itself, that doesn't necessarily let you beat uh, Hammers, but in combination with red and blue, we can. But what this would like you to do, like if you had to just dump energy anywhere, for example, like before, if you wasn't playing Revile, you really couldn't just dump energy wherever. Like, let's say you had an energy um, in your hand one turn, but you didn't have anywhere to attach it to. You only had like Crobats and, uh, and I don't know, yeah, just Crobats in play, for example. Um, normally, you have to just hold that energy because without playing energy switches or Revile, it's dead. But now you can just, every energy you see, you can just try and get it down to the board and Revile just let you move them around where you need them. Uh, super, super strong, to be fair. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Revile for sure. So we've got the Galarian Zigzagoon at four count. Again, let me just slide these up a little bit. Uh, and this is we're going to try and cheat some extra damage. He's like our major bench here. Uh, when you bench him, obviously, you put one damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon. We play four, so that's potentially four damage counters already. And in combination with Scoop Up Net, this is how we start like one shot and stuff like ADP. All we need is a full bench plus one Zigzagoon ping to get to 280. Absolutely silly. Um, and Zigzagoon is just going to allow us to just... You know, get a little cheeky knockouts with the world shouldn't have had, eh? <laughs> We've got two of the Hooper, which is like the dark type Zapdos from Team Up. Uh, just a big, good non GX Pokemon that's going to help you uh, clean up Miss KOs whilst leaving a one prize in the active. Basic Pokemon 120 HP. 
with the attack assault gate one for 90 um, but it has to have moved from the bench to the active this turn if it hasn't it does nothing so like i said 90 is a very good number in combination with zigzagoons as well so that's going to let you hit a little bit higher um really good at you know demons stuff like the sidewide potentially if you're scared about this um and yeah it's sort of replaced uh spirit tomb you can play spirit tomb or who pop up because like loads of the turn are playing for scoop up net for zigzagoon you can't really afford to play um spirit tomb in my opinion so hooper fills that slot and now we've got we've got into an interesting slot here we've got the mega t-tar sableye um which i'm not gonna lie uh, i saw uh gyro short and champion this on stream i'm not sure if it's still in his list but i saw it and i thought yo this is insane taking three prizes off the den eight is absolutely nuts obviously greedy crush for five energy you do 210 uh very very good um yeah take extra prizes on the den eight uh 210 is actually a decent number as well um but mainly taking three prizes off the den eight so against other stuff, against like ADP, for example, we can just KO ADP, KO the DNA. That's kind of, you know, that is a good strategy. Um, this slot, however, I feel could be a lot of things. Um, I haven't got my testing them all, though. Because um, we've got Mega, Mega, Mega Sableye Tita, very good. Um, we've also got um, the Zoro Ninja Tag. Could put that in. You could also put the Guzzlord, the uh, extra prizer. Uh, basic could put that in or you could even go down the dark right umbreon route as well try and play into that dead end but um as it stands now i think mega sailor t tart is quite good worth noting giga full 250 with um galarian zigzagoon ping you can start taking care of on tag teams with that as well so worth noting i think most eternus lists are championing for marnie just so you can be as disruptive as possible whilst having crowbats to fall back on so you know we can't well it's a lot harder for us to dead draw ourselves with money because we've got four crowbats and against every other deck that isn't a turn they haven't so if we can like try and play as many money as we can every game uh, at some point they are going to start missing stuff they want from the monies and that's where we can really capitalize on a really heavy dread end three bosses orders just so we can be as nice and aggressive as possible with our dread ends you know and our potential greedy crush as well right like if we just want to quickly close out a game we don't want to be you know faffing about let's just get that dna kill him get it done <laughs> uh, i wouldn't even mind a fourth bosses orders in here if i'm perfectly honest two professors researchers so we can um draw through a little bit more and i think um most turns list is settled in a portal lineup, something like this. Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, Erica's in here, so I've been loving Erica's in this format. Um, but sometimes it's hard to get your hand down to under four, sometimes with a turn. So, uh, we've got two presses research now. Ignore the proxy, I've got one Misty Lorelei here, but it's meant to be two red blue, and this is how we can really stick it to hammers. So, what red blue does, um when you play this card you can discard two cards from your hand if you do you can evolve one of your g uh, one of your pokemon into a gx i should say and search your deck for two energy and attach them so basically if you've got steez on the bench you play red blue you can now evolve it into a reroll attach two energies from deck to it um and yeah so that also that, that's getting two extra energies in play we can still attach for once that's three energies in one turn and we've got crowbat to so, you know, refill our hand afterwards absolutely not so we even want a third red and blue in here to be honest just so we can really lean into it um it also takes the pressure off actually finding the weavers we can just red and blue it obviously red and blue searches the pokemon too so that's how we're going to really stick it to these hammer and denial decks and just say right here's like loads of energy you know here's my mega t tar slapping you or here's my big dirty dread end so yeah now we're gonna, now we're gonna get onto the ball search we've got four quick ball like i said quick ball such a good card almost it reminds me of ultra ball back in the day every deck's playing for <laughs> it finds our crowbat finds our hooper finds our goons finds our sneasel finds our um eternus as well also it lets you grab a pokemon from deck to satisfy pokemon communication if you need to find a revile or an eternus v max three great balls again just so we can really fill our bench because it's all well and good being able to potentially do 270 with a dread end but if we can't fill our bench we ain't doing it so great balls let us do that in combination or let's get this in the right order in combination with free pokemon communication again this is going to help us find a pokemon we need mainly revile or um uh turn as vmax let me just change that a little bit there we go oh there we go so yeah let's just find our turnus let's just find our uh, revials let's just find anything in all honesty you can never have too much to, uh, search when you're for a turnus um and free uh pokecoms actually just pluck out whatever you need whenever you need it next up we've got free screw pup net now in order to um 
fit in the revars and the red blues some sort of cuts had to be made and force group up net was one of them that means we can't be as clinical with our zigzagoons um as a, as a normal list would which is you know to and fro really take it or leave i don't feel as if force group nets really need in times anyway um and being able to just you know clean up the board um if they're playing hammers over one scoop up net i think that's a necessary evil cut to be honest with you now these two cards i'm not 100 percent sold i'm not gonna lie um we got one air balloon and one switch um i'm not really sold on air balloon because in order to retreat in a turn you start have to discard one and in a deck like this you don't really want to be discarding energy right you want to try and keep them all in play for um tita something like this for example um obviously switch lets you maneuver around without discarding energy but then you sort of have to have the switch in hand whereas you know balloon lets you develop a pivot so i'm not sure about the best way to go maybe even playing more hide dark energies um it might be ideal um we'll get to that in a sec but um for now i'm just gonna leave it like this it's been it's been fine in testing i just feel as if that could be but it might not be the most optimal way to go then we've got black market and region forest as our stadiums i've been really tempted to try um is it dark city um and i think that could be good that i mean that could solve the whole pivot problem you know um, you wouldn't need air balloons if you had um dark city yet that's for sure but um i'm a big baby i'd rather get my energy down and have a free pivot as my stage jumps the region forest is so good for that obviously black markets and auto include you have to play that one but um yeah bear in mind dark city could be good as well then we've got two high dark energies again this acts as a pivot like i said the dark pokemon this attached to now has a free retreat cost bear in mind weaver cannot uh, cannot move around the high dark energies though so be careful with that so where you attach them they're staying but um yeah i mean that gives the turn us for free retreat which is nuts you can tank a hit maneuver into your next one you know move the second energy from the other the wounded turn us to the next one absolutely silly um <laughs> so much board control you can have with a deck like this been able to you know retreat for free move energies around can get a bit bonkers <laughs> and then rounding off the list we play eight basic dark a little bit more than the normal list this is just so we can you know try and move into that t-tar and whatever this tag team slot is whether it's a zoro ninja even if it's the um, guzzlord like i said or if it's the um dark right all of them are quite energy hungry um so we're going to need a little bit extra energy to fulfill the attack costs but yeah let me know what you think guys a turner's um v max weavile is it the best way to play a turner's is that a way you'll be playing a turner's so i know i've been putting a lot of time into uh the weavile list and it's probably the way i'm going to play it, at least on set launch i know a lot of people are going to try and combat a turner's with hammers and i don't want to be <laughs> and i don't want no part of that but thanks for watching as always and i'll see you all next time